Welcome back to our Pi Game tutorial series. We're working on our shmup game, and in this video we're going to learn how to add some enemy sprites. Please check the links below if you're missing any of the code samples or you need to catch up on previous videos. Okay, the next thing we want to add to our game is the enemies, uh, or at least the things that we're shooting at. Uh, we might eventually decide to make them alien spaceships or, or meteors uh, floating around in space. Um, or you might even decide that you're, I don't know, a unicorn shooting rainbows at squirrels. I don't know what the enemies are going to look like yet. But we, so we want to name it something generic, something that we won't have to be uh, too specific about. And the generic word for an object in a game that moves around is mob, which you might have heard before. And so we're going to set up a sprite for the mobs. And then later on, we can make them look like whatever we want them to look like. And we're going to start by creating a uh, sprite, just like we did. I forgot my underlines there. Just like we did when we set up the player. We have to do the initial part of the uh, required things that you need when you're making a sprite the init, the image, and for these, I'm going to make these, we're also just going to use rectangles for now, um, just because we just need something specific, or something generic to put in there until we decide what we want them to be. Um, and I'm going to fill those with red. Okay, and then the rect will just be Okay, now, how do we want to place these on the screen? Well, there's going to be potentially a lot of these. So every time they spawn, we want them to appear and then start coming down the screen towards us. Well, if we just make them pop into existence up here at the top of the screen, that's going to look kind of weird, like they just appeared. So instead, what we want them to do is we want them to spawn somewhere off the top of the screen, above the window, so that they will come moving onto it like they came from you know, somewhere off screen. So we want to pick a couple of random numbers for the location. So the x coordinate for where it's going to spawn is just going to be um, a random number between 0 and width minus however wide our sprite is, right? That way, if our sprite is, in this case right now, it's 30 pixels wide, so it'll be anywhere between 0 and width minus 30. So it'll pop up here and won't be sticking off the screen. This just ensures that it will always appear somewhere between the left and the right. And you can write 0 there number between zero and width, but if you leave that out, Pygame just, I mean, uh, Python just assumes it's a zero. Okay, self.rec.y, we just want to make it spawn somewhere up above the screen. Um, and I'm going to randomize that too, so that we get them more spread out, so that they don't all start at the exact same spot. Um, so we're just going to make that somewhere between, oh, say, minus 100 and minus... 40, say. And then the last thing we need is we need to randomize their speed because we don't want them to all be moving the exact same speed. They're going to be, they'd be all in a group, in a clump, just moving at the same speed. So we're going to randomize that so that we have some slow ones and we have some fast ones. Okay. And then the update for this sprite will just be to move rect.y plus equals speed y. Okay, so it's just going to move downwards. And that's fine, but what do we do when it moves all the way down and it goes off the bottom of the screen? Well, we could delete the sprites whenever they go off the bottom and then spawn new ones again up at the top. Or even simpler, if it goes off the bottom, we could just move it back somewhere up at the top. But we don't want to just move it straight to the top, because then if you, you then you'll know that if you miss one, it's going to come right back in the same place again. 
So we probably want to randomize uh, that again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this stuff here, and I'm going to say if the rect dot top is greater than height, and I'm just going to put plus 10 here just a little bit so we make sure we leave some extra space, and I'm going to paste that stuff there. So if it ever goes off the bottom, we basically just re-randomize its location up at the top. Okay, and that's going to do it. That's our mob sprite. So all we have to do down here is now spawn a bunch of them. But uh, there's something else we want to do first. The other thing we want to do is we want to create a uh, group to hold all the mobs. And the reason we're going to do this is, um, you know, we have the all sprites group, and that's fine. That's the thing that makes them all update and them all draw. So being in the all sprites group will make our, our mob sprites work. But we're going to make a mobs group as well, because later on in the next uh, step or two, we're going to get to the point where we want to see if the player runs into any of the mobs. And if the mobs are just in a group, then it's very easy to um, just say, did the player hit any of the mobs? And you'll see that in a little bit when we start uh, doing uh, that part of the game. But first, let's spawn some mobs. So we've got a group to put them in now. And so we're just going to say, um, for I in range 8, let's say. So we'll start out with 8 mobs and see if that's a good amount. Okay. And I'm just going to spawn a new one. And I'm just going to use call it M, because this is just a temporary name just so that we can add it all sprites dot add and mobs dot add okay so we're gonna add that mob to the all sprites group and to the mobs group and now once they're in the all sprites they're gonna get updated and all that stuff so let's see what happens oops we have a typo that tends to happen a lot when you're talking while you're typing. Some of you probably saw this as we were going through it and fixed it yourself, but I left off my underlines there, which I tend to do sometimes when I'm typing and talking at the same time. But there, we fixed that error, and now we should have some mobs streaming down the screen. And see, some of them are fast, some of them are slow, and they come in and out of the screen. And something else we could do is we could randomize the movement a little bit more and make the uh, mobs have a little bit of diagonal movement. So if we have a random speed in the x direction, then they'll sometimes be moving side to side, so they'll be diagonally going across the screen. So we just need to tell the update to use that speed x, y, or speed x as well. And then let's see what that looks like. So now we have some running diagonally across. Now the main problem here is that sometimes they're going to start up here and go diagonally this way, which means they're going to go off here. And then it's going to take them a long time before they get all the way down greater than height and respawn again. So it's a little bit unpredictable. So we could respawn them when they go off as well. So we could say, or left is less than zero. Actually, let's let them go off a little bit. Let's say just a little bit. Or self.rec.right is greater than width plus 20. And this line is getting kind of long, so I'm probably going to want to change that at some point too. Um, I have to resize that a little so you can see the whole line. And then we're going to see them on the screen more often. So we don't have to wait as long for them to show back up again if they are going sideways. One really slow one right there. Okay. 